Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. Um, this message was put in my heart right now, right, to share with you, and that is why I'm coming with this video as well, right? Great. Um, they are married and unhappy in the marriage, yet they are advising you to get married too. Yeah, chosen ones, you need to be careful. The reason why people are married and not happy in the marriage, all right, but they keep on pressuring you to get married as well is because misery, they say, likes company. Yes, so they want you to be on the same level with them. Because some of them, most of them, are mad at you because you are single and doing well. Because you are single and have your peace of mind and you have your peace of heart. Because you are single and your business is booming, things are getting on well for you. You are single and you can travel, take vacations, go wherever you want to go to and come back at any time and have your sleep, have your rest. I mean, you, you, you are not bound to anybody. You have the freedom. You are single and free. And that is getting a lot of them mad, upset. It's making them unhappy. So for them to get you trapped, right? They are going to pressure you to get married as well because misery lies company. You should be careful. I'm telling you, most of the marriages that you see today in their homes, they are going through a lot. They are suffering. They are in pain. In some, there are no even intimacy. There is no affection. There is nothing. You will see them outside, on the outside, dressing in the same attire, in the same clothing, looking beautiful. Oh, my king, my queen. But when they go home, when they are in, it's like they're not even talking. They, it's like they don't even know each other. That is what is happening. So be very careful before you tie any knot or before you say I do or before you push somebody into it. Be very careful and weigh the advantages and disadvantages and consider your peace of mind and your peace of heart as well. Because marriage is a full business, full-time business on its own. It's not something that you can joke with if you are not ready with it. If you are ready to face the challenges, the consequences, the difficulties that it comes with, the stress, the depressions, the frustrations that it comes with, cool. All right? I'm telling you, most people, many people want to force you into getting married to them. Because they've weighed the benefit and they realize that they are going to benefit a lot from you. And what of you? What are you going to benefit? Weigh it very well. Some people get married to some people out of fear. Because they have the fear that, oh, if I don't put that ring on um, her finger, you know, she's going to leave me. She's not going to be my own. If I... If, if I don't take her to the altar, no, she's going to run away from me. Gonna not, she's not going to be mine. She's not going to be there for me. They get married out of fear. It's not really because they want to, but because they don't want the other person, all right, to leave them. And when they do, they later regret because they realize that they are with the wrong person because they've not taken the, their time to analyze things very well don't let it be you don't feel pressured you can be single and free and happy and live a fulfilled life than getting married and get frustrated stressed depressed all right i'm telling you it's a full business on its own cool if marriage is your thing, I'm not saying it's not good. It is good for you. Go, get married. 
all right but be ready with whatever it comes with you need to take total responsibility but to the single ones out there i'm speaking to you i'm talking to you take your time take your time there is no rush don't follow the rules the 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 the, the the, the, the things that society is going to be telling you. Society will always pressure you. Family will pressure you. I'm telling you. Don't feel pressure because they aren't the people that are going to help you raise the kids. They're not the people that are going to help you take care of your family. Check yourself. Check how strong you are. Your financial status. Are you okay? Are you all right to go into it? Will you be okay? When you go into it, are you still going to maintain your standard of living and you're going to be okay? You're going to be all right? You're going to be happy? All right? If it is not, don't let anybody pressure you. Don't let even the person that you are with pressure you that marry me by force. No, it is not a, a, a forced thing. It is something you need to take your time because I tell you a lot of people are in need today and they are regretting. Many people are in need today and they are having mental health issues. They wish, they wish they are single because they're facing a lot. They are only enduring it. Yes, it is not a bed of roses as they think. As they think. It is not all that sweet as they think you see you will see them on social media displaying their pictures and dancing you know after the marriage you see them having the, that the, that kind of parties and stuff and dancing and kissing and stuff and it looks beautiful it, it looks nice it, it, it looks attractive let me tell you many people are only ready for the occasion for the wedding but they are not really ready for the marriage the process the journey itself they're not ready for it they are not they are never ready for it but they are ready for the gown for the dressing yeah they are ready for the makeups and other things yes they are ready for the pictures that is what they are ready for the pre-pictures the the the, 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 the post pictures and, and whatever pictures that is what they are ready for to post it on their pages on their social media pages for people to know yeah and then they'll be showing it it looks beautiful it looks nice it looks attractive but it goes with a lot of responsibility ask yourself are you ready for what it comes with the journey it comes with because scripture says those who get married will face more trouble than those who are not the same scripture says he who finds a good wife finds a good thing <laughs> right so think carefully analyze things carefully and see if it is your thing cool if it is not your thing check yourself work on yourself if you don't have that capacity you you're not financially where you want to be take your time get that financial freedom you know when you have money it, it's it source about 50 percent of your problem i'm telling you some people don't listen to your partner that will tell you oh let's get married things are gonna get well when we get married you know uh let's uh, you just let, let's do it we'll be we'll manage you will manage <laughs> when you enter it is there you realize that it is not a childish thing it's not something for children it is for mature people so take your time the re that is the reason why you know some of you some of us are part of it we we, we 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 get people in our life and then all of a sudden something will happen and the people will pull away or leave you it's for a reason. It is God. It is the universe that has removed them from your life. To take your time. To work on yourself. To build yourself up. To strive for the better. Alright? 
You see, marriage, you must be ready for it. Emotionally, you must be ready for it. You shouldn't enter it and think and somebody has to make you happy. You must know how to make yourself happy, how to take care of your own emotion. When you are unhappy, you must know how to unlock yourself to make yourself happy so that you don't go and become a burden for someone's son or someone's daughter. You have to work on yourself, on your emotion, on your thoughts, on your habits, on your character before you get into it. And when the other person also does the work, to the two of you coming together because you've worked on yourself. Now, it's going to be a thing of celebration, a thing of joy. Nobody is going to be, I mean, imposing things on the other person to make sure the other person change. No. Nobody is going to be sacrificing so much for the other because the two of you, you've worked on yourself and you've come together. So now you understand things better. You know there is no understanding without misunderstanding. So when these quarrels and disputes and things come, you know how to settle them. You don't act on impulse and flame up. You can't control your anger. You want to get married. All right? To just get angry with someone's daughter or son for, for, for what? You need to take care of your these are the things you need to be working on you need to be doing as you are single as you are single these are the things getting into rates is easy maintaining it and building the right atmosphere that your children will even emulate is key it's key i'm telling you it is not about beautiful lady handsome guy then no it is not you see some people they, they they go for it because of beauty because of handsomeness because yeah of height because of skin color complexion it's a heart decision and a mind decision i repeat it is a heart decision and a mind decision. And it takes a lot of responsibilities. It comes with a lot of responsibilities. And it takes maturity. And it takes financial freedom. To stay in it. I'm telling you. So take your time. And don't feel pressured. Don't let people rush you into it. You can be single. And live a very great life and remember to you can marry and live a very great and a beautiful life and remember you can be single and still wretched and you can get married and this will, will not go on well at all for you you realize that being single is even better so sit down analyze things for yourself and don't let people push you around because of age, because of that, I'm telling you. I always say, before one get married, all right, I'm not that old and I'm not into, you know, like I'm not a, a, a counselor or something, all right? But this is the little wisdom that I, I, I have. You don't get married because you have a job. Your job is cool. When you have a job, cool. Find your purpose. Be in your purpose as well. All right? And as you are in your purpose, when your purpose starts fetching you money and your job also keeps fetching you money, and if you are lucky, you have other streams, other sources of income attached to it, then you can go into it. But you have only a job. And you think, oh, you are there you get married because maybe probably the person you are with also get a job and you get married the financial difficulties crisis setting and you depending on loans you depending on debt and other things reconsider your decision this video is just to make you think a little bit 
take a break, relax, analyze things for yourself, and let wisdom guide you in whatever decision that you're taking. Don't do it because of what people are saying, but do it because your spirit, God, approve of it, and you know that you can, I mean, you can do well in it. You, it it's going to be of a blessing to you. It's going to be well with you when you, I mean, involve yourself so that you don't, I mean, blame anybody at the end of it all. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.